Hey, this is Digital Bike Computing. Today we're going to talk about what is the difference between a router and a firewall. You've probably heard those two terms and you want some clarification. Let's talk about that right now. So my name is Emilio, I work in the IT industry and we are talking about routers and firewalls. What are the differences? Uh, you've probably heard both terms, you've also heard of maybe switches, you've heard of uh, gateways, what are these things? But today we are focusing on the, the router and the firewall. Let's define each of the terms. A router is a device that connects different networks together. So what do I mean by network? So this could be from one office to a different office. It could be from one subnet to a different subnet. So a subnet would be you know, a range of IP. So for example, 192.168.1. 1.0 and everything in between, you know, 192.168.1. You know that range, and then the 172.16.1 range. So two different IP ranges, which generally will not be able to communicate with each other. If you get two computers and you plug them into a switch, into a um, device that connects them together, one is on one. 192.168.1 and one is on 172.16.1, they won't be able to connect to each other or communicate to each other natively. So what you need to do is you need to stick a router in the middle of it, create some rules so that it can communicate now and essentially connect those two networks together. So a router does not necessarily connect you to the internet. Uh, this is a you know, very normal misconception where they think a router is what gets you onto the internet. That is actually a modem. So a modem's purpose is really to connect you out to the internet. The net, the router is to connect networks together. So sort of in a way, a modem is a router that connects you out to the global internet, but not really in any, in if you wanted to find the terms definitively. So routers can be both wired and wireless. So depending on the setup, you may have a router at home, it could be in an office space, in more of the corporate enterprise world, we have a physical router, you're having you know, multiple devices running into a router to communicate two networks together. So for example, some switches, you've got a switch over here and a switch over here with computers running into each, and then they're on different networks, and then you've got connections into a router, into an input output, into a WAN, into a LAN port, something like that to connect the two networks together. Then you've also got wireless routers. These are essentially the same sort of thing, but rather than with physical connection, with physical network connection via, you know, like a Cat5 or a Cat6 cable, this is going over the Wi-Fi. So you've got a device connected to a Wi-Fi running into a wireless router. A routing table contains the information that the router needs to know where to send the traffic, where the incoming, the outgoing, where is the sender, the receiver, those sort of things, so it knows where to send that traffic. That information is kept in a routing table. And then in the corporate world, you can get a lot more fancy as well. So there are multiple ways to communicate between two networks. There's not just a standard one routing protocol. There are many different types of routing protocols depending on how you want traffic to flow from one network to another all different paths, different uh, sort of terminologies as well. Standard routing protocols would be uh, RIP, RIP, EIGRP, IGRP, BGP, and there's a whole range of others as well that sort of act, I guess the end goal is sort of the same, but the actual way that the traffic goes from point A to point B is different and varied. So there you go, that is a router. A firewall is a network device that controls the security of a network. It monitors and controls uh, the incoming and outgoing traffic flowing via a network. So computers that communicate via each other, computers that connect out to the internet, the internet connecting back into a computer, into a network, generally should flow through a firewall of some sort. So a firewall essentially analyzes the traffic analyzes the packets and can stop or control uh, the traffic that is flowing through it. So for example, I've got the uh, you know a, a particular network in the 192.168.1 range, and then I've got another network on a different range, and I only want certain traffic or certain computers to be able to communicate to computers on the other end. I can actually allow or block certain IP addresses from actually communicating to other devices on the network. You can also control ports. So for example, if you don't want FTP to be open or you don't want to be able to 
use HTTP, which is you know your websites uh, over port 80. You can block port 80 on the firewall, so it doesn't allow port 80 to flow from one point to another. And that's also true from connecting up into the internet and back into your internal network. So generally, you're gonna have a firewall. The most, I guess the most common use of a firewall will be to control the traffic flowing in and out of a network uh, from the internet. So very similar, you've got a whole heap of devices on the internet that are always trying to get in to internal networks. You know, you've got people like hackers, people who wanna get uh, information, malicious, malicious attacks, and they are generally gonna be stopped or prevented via a firewall. So you can allow and disallow certain traffic from flowing through this firewall into a network. Firewalls can uh, be physical, like can be hardware based or can be software based. Uh, a physical hardware is a physical device, like a, you know, like similar to like a modem or a router, where you have network connectors running into it, and then you can have different sections in that firewall to control the traffic. And the traffic is actually physically throwing, flowing through that firewall. You've got big vendors such as you know um, Cisco, they've got Cisco ASAs, you've got Juniper as well. There's other vendors such as Fortinet, uh, Palo Alto. There's a whole range of uh, pretty high-end uh, you know, brands of firewalls that let you control the traffic. Other examples of physical firewalls could be your home uh, router, your home modem that could also have firewall capabilities. So nowadays, most home-end devices that let you connect up to the internet have built-in firewall functionalities to be able to allow and disallow traffic. So you can actually get firewalls in a lower end home uh, devices also. Software-based firewalls could be something like your standard Windows firewall that's built into your computer, built into a Windows server. You then got other software firewalls such as PFSense, which is a free open source firewall, which lets you do very similar functionality to hardware-based, but rather than it being hardware, it has to flow through this software-based firewall. So you essentially point all your traffic to flow through the software, software firewall rather than flowing through your network firewall. But that is in short what a router is and what a firewall is. So really just to summarize, the router is gonna communicate uh, two networks together. You know, essentially it's going to route traffic from one network to another, connect those two networks together so you can allow traffic in and out of a network and actually route traffic through those networks a firewall is gonna control the traffic through those networks. So you've got a firewall connected out to the internet coming into internal, or a firewall in between two different networks going through a router, and it's gonna control what sort of traffic. So they can work in tandem, and you could have combinations of multiple firewalls and multiple routers in a network, depending on how secure you want to get and how much you want your network to be segregated. So there you have it, I hope you found this helpful. I would love it if you gave me a thumbs up, like this video, and also subscribe to Digital by Computing for a whole bunch of more videos.